towards realizing a society envisioned by people. Visitors to the Japan World Exhibition held in Osaka in 1970 were astonished by the video telephone that connected Osaka with Tokyo and the wireless phone that was the starting point of the mobile phone. These two futuristic phones gave the many visitors to the exhibition a glimpse of the world that was to come. In 1979, the Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Public Corporation proposed the vision of the information network system. This was a concept that guided many people's thinking about how to support the society and economy of the future. It pointed out that the digitization of networks was indispensable to the wide-ranging and fair delivery of cheaper and more convenient services. Guided by this concept, they first set out digitizing, switching equipment, and transmission equipment. In 1982, the first digital switching equipment was put into practical use as the digitization of networks proceeded apace. The building of the foundations to underpin services such as computer communications and video communications had been built. In 1985, the NTT Group was born from the privatization of the corporation. This is when we began to aim to become a partner that could be chosen by customers. The loop at the top of our logo shows our desire to always absorb the opinions of our customers and of society, and to use them as the basis for our corporate actions so that we can serve the broad interests of society. In order to create a communication service that supports many customers, NTT wanted to build a network in Japan that used optical fiber as the next step after the telephone network. Specifically, it came up with a plan to build a network by laying optic fiber cables throughout the country. In 1990, it advocated VINP, a vision that aims for a global telecommunication society. This ended up influencing the Information Superhighway, a concept created by Al Gore when he was vice president under Bill Clinton. The preparations for a society and economy that were about to undergo substantial change were being put in place. to respond to changing society and various needs. When Japan was struggling to emerge from the recession caused by the burst of the bubble, the internet was a hot topic. In 1994, NTT announced its basic concept of multimedia as part of its plans to create an easy-to-use internet service. With the help of industry, academia, and government, the company began multimedia usage experiments that subsequently led to the creation of the OCN service. The completion of network digitization in 1997 was a major driving force for the transition to the multimedia age. NTT Docomo released the MUVA, a compact mobile phone that was groundbreaking for the time. After that, the mobile market expanded explosively immensely successful iMode service being launched in 1999. To ensure the faster flow of more information on both fixed lines and wirelessly, NTT introduced broadband products and services. The smooth communications environment transformed work styles and lifestyles. It also led to some fundamental changes in the way people communicated with each other.